hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using core draw so before any further i do let's get started then here i'm going using four by four inches so and this here are my typing test i have already put them in place then now I'll select your rent angle then you come over here then you drag it then it will give you four by four all right now i'm going to apply this color here then click here or here to remove the outline color you see set outline color then the outline color has been removed now i'm going to import the images i'm going to choose for the background here are the images then i will select all then import them okay then i'm going to make use of this one first then scale it out okay now i'm going to the effects here then select blow gaussian blow then i have 8.9 I'm going to select it, then click OK. Then this is what I have. Then go to Object, then select Power Clip, place inside frame. Then you come down. You see why it does not enter is because I click on that same the image. And then I'm coming to a place where it will not affect the image. Then I'll click down. So power clip inside. Okay. Then now I'm going to use these images here again. Then position this one. Then now having it this way, then I'm going to select the transparent tool. Then I'm going to drag it over here like this. Then go to bitmap. Then convert to bitmap. Okay. Then you come down here again. Then you apply the same thing. Then go back to bitmap. Convert to bitmap. Then click OK. all right then why i'm doing that converting into bitmap is that if i apply a transparent over here then i did not convert it to bitmap then if i do the same thing here it will not work then example of it is here let me show you then the example of it is that now I want to apply transparent here then I apply transparent over here and then if I come here to apply it will not work you see it will not work so the only way then to apply a transparent over here and here is to apply then convert it to bitmap now by converting it to bitmap then you cannot apply transparent over here okay so that is it okay now i'm going to the same transparency tool again then and change it here to blend it i'm going to change it to um overlay this overlay then then you now reduce the opacity this way 
then OK. Then right click, then select power clip inside. Then you clip it inside the printable area or your design. So, all right. Now again, I'm going to bring this one, then place it at the top here. Then place it at the top here like this. All right. Then I'm going to apply transparent over here. Or even without doing that, then I can apply transparent tools, then reduce the opacity. Then this way, not that much. Okay. So okay, I like it like this. Then I'm going to object, then power clip, then place it inside. Okay. Then I'm also going to apply this image again over here then the same thing again apply transparent then go back to your bitmap then you convert it to bitmap then do the same thing over here then go to bitmap then convert it to bitmap then apply blend it or overlay this way then reduce the opacity this way it's okay then okay now i'm going to power clip the image all right so this is what i have then go to edit you see edit here or you right click then you see edit power clip then now the image which i apply recently then i'm going to hold control page down then to take it back so that this image will be at the front of it all right so now this is what we have then i'm going to bring this logo this touch logo over here then shift page up to bring it forward then i'm going to position it over here this way then the church name i'm going to bring it then apply white color then shift page up again to bring it forward so then i will select all this text then i'll press shift page up then to bring it forward all right then i'm going to apply white background uh, color here again so like this okay then i'm going to bring this one then apply white oh i think i'm going to apply this color over here all right then i'm going to scale this one make it more bigger then select my shape tool then i will close the character space this way then expand it like this then hold your shift key then you click on the design then press c on your keyboard to apply center alignment now then I'm going to take this one here then hold my shift key again then to increase it a bit not that much then okay 
so this is what i i have all right i'm going to bring this image then you see here click here then that is to mirror it then i'm going to increase the size then i'm going to increase the size this way I think this is okay then take it back this way all right so now now that i have this image this way then i'm going to bring this test over here then change the color to white then bring this theme again i'm changing the color to white okay now what i'm going to do here I'm going to break up this test. Now before I break up the test, then I will make it this way. Then bring this one down. Then bring this one down. Okay. Then control K to break up the test. Then I'm going to apply this color on this one then I'm going to reduce this the font size of this one then take this one over here like this then drag this one here I will reduce this one a bit and use your arrow key this way then I'm going to select this one then apply this color So now this is what I have. All right. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle over here like this. Then apply white color, remove the outline color. Okay. Now what I'm going to do on this image is that I'm going to copy this image then I paste again. You see now I have two of this image then this first one I'm going to right click then apply power clip then click here you see now the first one is here then I'm going to right click again apply power clip which I'm going to click on this one you see so this is what I have now all right then i'm going to bring this one over here then use your arrow key then to move it up this way okay then bring this one here then apply this color then break it ctrl k
then Ctrl Z enter then Ctrl K so break it then I'm going to reduce this one this way then I will close the space there this way then use my arrow key then to move it this way then I'll also close the space of this one again this way all right so now that i have it like this then i'm going to bring this image then select trace bitmap then go to outline trace line art all right then i'll drag this one then delete the original down apply color to this then i'll move it over here so then take it back a bit then for the time Alright, now for the time, I'm going to bring this one, then trace it, okay, then this is the original one, I'm going to delete it, then reduce this size, then apply white color, and you drag it here I'm going to position it here then select this one then you close the space then I'm going to reduce the font of this one to something like 14 okay this way then I will select this one then I will move it over here I will change this one to white all right so now I'll bring this one Then I'll place it here, reduce the size, then I'm going to change this to black color, then control page up to bring it forward, then apply center, select a border of one okay now it's bold then i'm going to select this icon then i'm going to trace it then i'm going to leave it over here delete this one control page up 
apply transparent tool So that is all for those of you who want to use color draw in this tutorial it's very simple just the same way you normally design in photoshop i mean then if you want to apply a blending then it's just to use the layer mask then select your brush so thank you for watching remember to subscribe like and share